Hey, Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com. Always trying to educate you a little bit further in the sport of kiteboarding. Now, what I want to talk about is line extensions. A lot of people call in and ask, would it help me? Does it help? Is it worth it having a line set that has multiple line extensions on there and why? Well, I want to try to get the hook here and the kite and try to explain a little bit about what this does. Now, line extensions are very easy. You can add them into the system. And uh, I, I think they're really good. A lot of people use them to extend the power range of your kite. Now I want to explain to you why. Now, a lot of people will ask, so a shorter line set, of why a shorter line set? A shorter line set can make that kite move a lot faster. The reason is that the kite gets to the edge of the wind window up above to the center a lot sooner and the reaction time and the lag time because those are shorter lines. So guys who are out in surf or guys who want to get out there and have the kite go through a power stroke and quickly get out of it, I think this will be a benefit also to the guys riding foil boards at some point. Going down to those shorter lines and making that kite move to the power and then it depowers real quick. Everything reacts a lot quicker with those shorter lines. Now, how short of lines? I've seen guys down to the minimum, a truly minimum of about 15 meters. I wouldn't go any shorter than that. It really will de can start deforming the kite in different ways. I've seen that happen. Um, so being down to about 15 meters would be absolute minimum. Now, you know, what would I say? I'd say average, average if anybody went down to a surf side, it would be like 18 meters to 20 meters would be the shortest you would want to go. Now, what would be the benefits of making it longer? What actually happens is, is when you lengthen the lines out, if you see the wind window, it gets a lot bigger. And what happens is, it's not that the kite produces a lot more power, but it can because what you're doing is you're increasing the time that it's within the sweet spot or the power zone of the wind window. As well as, is when you add in more lines, the kite begins to drag a little bit back. And that will set it back a little bit more and not be able to go as far around their wind window. That's very, very small amounts. But all it mainly does is increase the size of the wind window. So the kite, before it reaches the edge, will travel through there and continuously produce power as it's passing through to get to the edge. So the shorter they are, the quicker it'll get there. The longer they are, the more it has to travel to get to that distance. So is it beneficiary? I really do think so. There's a lot of guys that will come out with a 20 meter line set and then they'll quickly put on a three meters or a five meters and it will make a difference and you will feel it. It's a neat thing to, to do. A lot of guys who travel bring a line set or extensions or all build up their system to have Let's just say you start out with 20s, you add twos and threes, and then you're back out to five, and then you can kind of play with those extensions. They're very simple to put on and very uh, easy to take off and store away with you and travel with. So I wanna give a little input on that and make sure that people kind of understand what line extensions do. Now the maximum I'd ever go out to if you were gonna extend them out, I've seen racers go all the way out to max out about 40, but that 40 meters, and that was kind of really ridiculous. Max that I would ever put anything out is anywhere, any, anywhere between 25 to 30, and that is absolute max. You're not going to get any more out of that thing. It's pretty fun to put on, uh, you know, 25 meters, you know, lengthen from 20 to 25, or go 25 to 28. Things like that, it does make a little bit of difference in handling of that kite. Small kites move so quick, you can slow those down a little bit and get that distance, but also make sure you have that launch space to do that with those longer lines. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com, trying to educate you that little bit more further so you can get out and ride on that water a lot more.